Did you know there's a kind of grape that actually grows on a tree? Well, it's not actually a grape, it's a jaboticaba, but they get beautiful big fruits that grow right on the stems here. Now, jaboticaba is a tree that is from Brazil and it has um, dense leaves that makes a brilliant hedge. And on the stem, it gets an abundance of these fruits. These fruits are high in calcium and iron and have really good amino acids as well. So really healthy, really tasty. They have this dark purpley outside. You pop them in your mouth and they burst with flavour. It's just so delicious. They make brilliant hedges so you can trim them. You can grow them in pots. They're actually quite slow growing and take about five years before you start getting in a harvest. And the first year or two, you know, it's pretty marginal. But once they start producing, you'll get several harvests of these every year. The best time to plant this was five years ago, but you may as well just get it in now, particularly if you're in a warmer climate. It is just such a beautiful plant to have. Now, if you've got a hedge somewhere in your garden too, perhaps you want to replace it with something like a jaboticaba so it becomes a, fed, a food hedge. Uh, so anyway, jaboticaba, uh, a delicious plant, one that you can have uh, just walk past and grab handfuls of it to, to eat or you can um, make it into uh, syrups or juice. Like I said, the interesting thing about this fruit is that they grow on the stem rather than on the ends. So it means it's a little bit safer from birds, but nonetheless, you still need to check on them regularly. So why I'm showing this tree now is they're just starting to flower and it takes about a month for it to get from the flower to the fruit so i'll be checking on this regularly and making sure that when they when they're ready and ripe that we get in and we harvest as many as possible be before the birds find it so that's actually why i plant things like um, jaboticaba actually on my pathways or somewhere close that i go past all the time so i can keep an eye on and i know exactly when it is that the fruit are coming but i really do encourage you to try and experiment with some of the, the different and interesting fruits that are around there are so many varieties and you know sometimes these kind of ones are just so much easier to look after than some of the stands. For example, here we can't grow things like apricots or soft fruits because they just get bitten by fruit fly, whereas these have quite a tough skin on them but a beautifully soft inside so that makes them perfect so you know as usual in my garden I'm always looking for ways that I can grow in abundance but without having to to fuss and you know find ways to sort of protect everything like what is it that's robust that's resilient that's drought hardy that can grow with ease and that you can you know enjoy your garden rather than trying to fight the elements to try and make it grow so jaboticaba um, i encourage you to check it out I'll, I'll put a link below too so that you can download my 12 tips about how to create a, a, a beautifully abundant garden and if you follow those kind of tips you'll start getting an amazing abundance of all kinds of things growing in your garden so remember to click below and subscribe and, and also click the bell so you get um, notification of when a new film goes up. Um, and also down below, I'm putting in a link where you can uh, download 12 tips for how I create abundance simply in my garden. So until next time, take care, everyone. Stay safe. See you later.